You are on. Hey, everybody. I'm Claudia. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and uh, welcome to the first episode of Life's a Beach. Um, I wanted to uh, start by thanking everybody for participating because I have a lot of people here that are part of my cast and crew. And we've been uh, anxiously preparing for this for two weeks to, um, you know, hopefully get you guys laughing and lighten up the mood. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start um, start the day off or the show off with um, uh, some fish chisme. I was uh, recently at the newly opened Venice Ale House, and I posted a picture of um, a very very beautiful tropical bird. It's called it's the bird of the day, and it's called the hyacinth macaw. It's a uh, blue. It's I mean, it's got a flash beak. It's beautiful. And the things that uh, most people, I think, don't know about birds that I think is really cool are these, these tropical birds is that they live um, longer than 100 years. So the caretakers have to really um, take the time and foster their birds for after they die. Um, I have a friend, um, his name is Demetrius, he has a beautiful white macaw, and uh, his name is Mook, and uh, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that they're very grouchy animals, they're very, but they can be very social and chatty. Uh, one of my nicknames growing up actually was uh, Wakamaya, I don't know why, <laughs> Not like I like to talk or anything like that. Me social never. <laughs> so uh, that's the bird of the day, and it leads us into uh, the movie of the day, which is Rio, which is a uh, by 20th Century Fox with Anne Hathaway and Neil Patrick Harris. Um, they're going to be. Uh, <laughs> that's my kitchen timer. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very, very professional environment that we're working with here. <laughs> we make sure that all the time is accounted for. So, back to the movie. Um, it takes place in uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and it's a, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I love cartoons. It's about this uh, bird that is being crossed with a female bird, a male bird, and a female bird, and um, they have a little adventure. So the trailer, I'll post the trailer on the website blog, which is lifesatbeach.com, um, L-I-F-S-A-B-E-A-S-H. Com. It should be scrolling right here. Basically. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, another um, thing that I would like to talk about um, before we go into um, fashion and beauty with Jordana or um, space and um, Angel System with Justin, um, I really wanted to like touch on botany. Um, because uh, we're missing my our friend in action right now, Julie Baez. I'm calling you out to we're live out, on camera because uh, she was supposed to do the plant of the day. But thankfully, my sister well, Alondra is here, and uh, well, I love you. <laughs> uh, she gave me an idea, and um, she suggested cherry blossoms because they are in full bloom. Uh, if you want uh, to see cherry blossoms today, all you have to do is go to Babo Lake or to the Van Nuys Japanese Garden. Woohoo! Throw it up for the valley! <laughs> this is uh, my little puppet friend. Um, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't given her a name. Um, <laughs> two more minutes, thank goodness. What's the uh, I haven't given her a name yet, uh, but I'm going with Chupitos right now because. Um, we gotta relax every once in a while. And we gotta get our antioxidants. Yes, we do. Okay, so um, do you guys want to um, take it away with uh, anything here going on? What news? Ageless wisdom. Who wants to go next? Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. Tell me about Julie. Beauty? Okay, um, right now we're going to have Justin speak with you about Ageless Wisdom. 
Well, first we're going to start with current events. Okay, current Make our way okay. to the ageless wisdom. So we got a lot going on in the world right now. Um, there are world protests spreading across the uh, northern African continent and all across the Middle East, mm -hmm. and even to China now. Mm -hmm. And so these are clear demonstrations that the old regime of dictatorships and uh, mm -hmm. totalitarianism is no more. And uh, it is at such an extent that the world can not go back to the way it used to be. It just can't with what has happened. Uh, it all started with uh, Tunisia, mm -hmm. and they their president left the country after mass protests in uh, the capital city there. Mm -hmm. And then obviously in Egypt, mm -hmm. which was a much larger, on a much larger scale. The revolt. Right, and after Mubarak stepped down, about took about two weeks, this just spread a wildfire across the whole uh, area, and just people saying, well, if the Egyptians can do it, so can we. Mm -hmm. So, as of now, <laughs> countries that have protesters demonstrating are Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Morocco, Yemen, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Syria, Bahrain, Kurdistan, Zimbabwe, and even in China. So we're looking at, I mean, over a dozen countries. I mean, it's moving so fast that it, every day something is new is... Uh, is erupting, and right now the main focus is going on in Libya, with uh, their their dictator there, Cal mm -hmm. Gaddafi, and uh, he's been the in fertile press. right. He's been in control for 42 years. Mm -hmm. So he went in when Nixon was president. What? Yeah, he's been dictator for 42 years, wow. and he has. The latest is that he's lost control of the eastern area of the country, mm -hmm. and the. Uh, the protesters in Libya have turned into more of a militia. They're armed, they have weapons, because the government of Libya is openly mm -hmm. killing people on the streets. There's over, That's I true. believe, around 300 people are dead already. Mm -hmm. And the, Is anybody getting involved? Uh, well, there are thousands of people leaving Libya and going into Egypt, seeking refuge in Egypt. And so the border guards have fled all of their posts, so a lot of the government of Libya has fallen apart. Uh, he, uh, and it's collective. Right. He, he ordered all classes. He ordered fighter jets to bomb protesters, the bombs <gasps> on the streets, and the planes were actually piloted by Libyan uh, Air Force pilots, but they decided not to kill their own countrymen. They went and landed in another yeah. country and said, just we give up. We're not going to do it. We're not gonna so his whole government is completely falling apart. So he's losing his foreign training. aid advisors. He's oh, using wow. losing his uh, ambassadors to the U.S. All the companies that run the oil in Libya are saying we're not going to we're going to stop exporting oil if you don't stop murdering our people. But the problem is this guy's nuts. He's mm -hmm. crazy, mm -hmm. and he's openly he won't step down. he's openly said on television that I'm going to kill all of you. So he, he's he won't a, he, step down? He will not step down. He said he will fight until he's dead. Wow. So What do you think is going to happen? Well, I think he's either going to get assassinated, someone's going to kill him, mm -hmm. or uh, the people will kill him. Because he says he's still in the city, and, you know, I just, I just don't think that it's going to get to that point where they're killing more people. The international community is going to have yeah. to get involved. With this. Now, there's a lot of tensions going on. Uh, several Iranian warships have passed the Suez Canal, so this is creating a lot of tension with Egypt or with Israel. Okay. And this is the first time that's happened in almost 30 years. Um, and so, this is something that's going to just be changing every day. I mean, every day there seems to be a, another country. Uh, is there anything that, we can do about it? Well, you know. Uh, just support freedom and support democracy and support uh, peace and justice. You know, mm -hmm. this is what these people want: our freedom and justice and the, you know, things we take for granted here. Definitely. Um, so, on other news, the Japanese have mm -hmm. finally cut back on their whaling, killing. 
Oh, yeah, this is a big uh, thing. It was in the, the movie The Cove, right? right? Final. That was with dolphins, but this is with the whaling. Mm -hmm. The Japanese but it, it started. Uh, they went after right, the dolphins exactly. because of the of the whaling. Right. So this is Japan's the only country that does this, yeah. and um, these anti whalers that attack the Japanese boats have basically bankrupted the Japanese whaling fleet. It just costs so much money. So they, they haven't completely stopped yet, but they cut back enormously, mm -hmm. and it's looking like they're going to quit, okay. just from the pressure and the bankruptcy that they're okay. facing. Uh, also, there was a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in Christchurch, New Zealand, two days ago. Okay, uh, there are 75 people dead so far. 75? 75 people are dead. There's uh, you know hundreds of millions of dollars of damage, oh. if not billions of dollars. What, the city, what city Christchurch. Christchurch is on the southern island of New Zealand. The grocery truck is here. If you guys want any vegetables or um, bread. Um, so yes. Okay. Our heart and condolences go out to the New Zealand people in Christchurch and hope that they can get everybody out of the rubble. Uh, also, four American yachters were killed by Somali pirates uh, yesterday. Pirates. Pirates. They're on their boat. Pirates are alive and well, and they're bad. Are this, this, maybe. this occurred about 1,500 miles east of Africa in the Indian Ocean. So uh, we also have massive protests going on in America, and this is going here in U.S. This has oil. To, this has to do with the budget cuts that all the states are facing. Basically, the government's broke, mm -hmm. completely broke. All the the Senate is having to pass massive uh, uh, cuts, bills to cut spending, sixty billion dollars on. Uh, right now, it's Wisconsin, Iowa, and Indiana that are the ones that are first starting with this. So there's doubt for about thirty six thousand people that are outside the uh, city hall mm -hmm. in the uh, Congress room in Wisconsin help. wanting to dismiss this bill because it's going to cut back on labor unions, people are going to lose all their benefits, people are going to start getting paid less. Uh, but this is just a start. All the states are facing these same problems. It's just Wisconsin is... People are being exhausted. Right. And so what's happening, it's symbolic that, you know, you have half the world in the East protesting for, you know, freedom, justice, and democracy, and you have very similar protests occurring here in America, yeah. for similar similar reasons, you know, the money from the top is not trickling down, and the haves and have-nots is mm -hmm. becoming a greater gap, and so, uh, uh, you know, this this is just the beginning of a of a large domino effect and just social, economic, and political change that we're going to face. And times so, are changing. Times are. Definitely changing. And they're changing faster and it's moving. than we can It is moving extraordinarily quickly. So what do you think, what are, what, what in your ageless wisdom, how do you think we can um, maybe um, apply? Solve these problems? Yeah. Sharing. 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 Sharing is. Compassion. Sh sharing is the answer to all of the planet's problems because with the geopolitical monetary structure that runs this planet, that is the foundation of everything is money. That, that, that. And in a money-based society, you have profit and scarcity that are the incentive motivating principles. And so whether it be capitalism or socialism, mm -hmm. there is so much complacency because of this. Mm -hmm. And you know this so-called free world, free market system we live in is really an illusion. There's nothing, an illusion. There's nothing free about it because how is, you know, Sudan and Somalia and Guatemala supposed to compete with you know the United States or China. It, it just can't happen. And so just like the huge, just like a family shares the resources yeah. amongst the family members, so to the human family has to learn to share the resources. Mm -hmm. And so by sharing, you'll create trust. Mm -hmm. And when you create trust between nations, between people, people can sit down and actually talk with each other and actually accomplish things. And so trust will lead to justice. And justice will, and the peace will just be the outcome of justice. And so, do you think that we need to reform the UN? Well, does it does it serve its purpose? Because isn't that what it was supposed to be doing? Right. Essentially, the United Nations bringing us all together. Is, right. Now, 
democracy in, in the truest sense of the word ha in, the, in the word has not been demonstrated anywhere, even here in America. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the world has true democracy been expressed. And so that's what the UN is supposed to symbolize. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, unfortunately most of these people are, if not bought out by large corporations or a military industrial complex, they support it or endorse it by it. And so they are usually in there for their own interests. Yeah. Uh, again. Well, people the, follow it, money. The, it, it, mo money, exactly. Money is Big. Right. And the problem is, though, is that we have the resources to feed everybody on this planet. We can't do it. And that's not the issue. I know. We, I, I mean, remember we, the Clinton days? We, we People weren't hungry during Clinton days. Right. We create, I mean, in America, maybe not as much now, but all people have been starving around the world since the dawn of time. But yeah. that isn't just something that's part of it natural. Matter. It's not. It's not just going to always be that way. That isn't just a part of how things are, that they're starving millions. It is a technical, political, and economic problem why people are starving. Because they should be. There's no reason. It is a, it is a crime. Hello. And so, uh, hey, can, can you come over here and work the grill, please? Well, what's going on? We're, we're doing a TV show. I need a, I need a cook. Are you Mexican? Hold on. I'll be right over. Okay, thanks. Um, We're going to get some food now. I'm and so basically right now is the government is facing a shutdown on March 4th. Oh, okay. The entire government might shut down on March 4th. This is what everyone's speculating mm -hmm. because basically we're broke. So it's happening in a month, in less than a month. And they're saying Weeks on March, on March 4th, the government might shut down. March 4th, you guys. Mark your calendars. Go um, shopping. What would you like well, me so to do? Should, should we go camping? Uh, with, what can you do? I have a grill. And you got a grill? I've, got, I've got some meat and chicken. Veggies. Okay, well, let you me see what I can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. My crew is hungry. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, okay. Let me take a look here. Right. Oh, you even have a light. Yeah, there's light. Yeah, yeah. Got, it's oh, all set up for you. Yes. Get to work. <laughs> so. Get to work. <laughs> Hungry. Yeah. So that covers most of the current events going on. Um, big, big, big bills getting passed. And spending is basically the thing. Okay. And uh, you know, we can oh. we can marinate on that, and then you're gonna come back with um, space and the ageless wisdom. And ageless wisdom. Yes. Um, up next, um, I have uh, who's coming up? Greg, Jordana, Adrian. Thank you, Justin. Justin, that was it. That was uh, current events with Justin. I'm, he's a very, very, very talented guy. He he loves to do his research and he loves um, he's to single. find out about what's going on in the world. And ladies, <laughs> yes, he is single. Right. <laughs> um, so who's coming up? I have uh, Gregorio Lorio. Coming up, Gregorio. Hi. He's an cool artist. Stuff. He's a commercial, and he is a uh, visual artist. Um, he's also the proud owner of uh, an establishment called Just Deadly in Uptown Whittier. You guys just recently celebrated an art show. Yeah, we had an art show this past Saturday. It was called uh, Amores Muertos, mm -hmm. and it was uh, post Valentine's Day, so it was like a thing of. Uh, Reminding you about the dearly departed, the people that you love, friends that you love, that you still have them in your heart, but are, are, are done or gone in your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we had 18 artists. Uh, I have my painting here. Uh, um, my, my painting actually was a part of the exhibit and it sold. I'd like to thank Julie Baez again for buying it. Julie? And, yeah, Julie bought it. And it will be making its way home tomorrow. But uh, as you can see, the dead are down here. And we have a very, very lovely woman. Uh, the name of this piece is called Mal de Amores. And she's bad with love. But, okay. <laughs> we had, there was a pup crawl. But it wasn't just any pup crawl. No, it was a zombie pup crawl. It was a zombie pup crawl. So, so all the... All the all the bars that were <laughs> out there were getting mm -hmm. drunk with all kinds of people. I like your hat. You like my hair? <laughs> I fixed it up just for today. Let me see. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, everybody was getting drunk out there with makeup and stuff, and then eventually they came around and mm -hmm. enjoyed some music. We had a band called Beatmo and a band called Tony T and Liquid Wisdom mm -hmm. that put on an awesome show. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was that was that was it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the artists that was there, his name's uh, Oscar Arroyo. He has a show mm -hmm. right now. And uh, we have the flyer for his show. He's got a. Uh, it ends this week. It ends this week on the twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. But uh, so if you haven't been to uh, North Hollywood, that's where it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, can I? Is the flyer over there? Can you see? Um, the the artist his name is Oscar Arroyo, and um, his artwork. He's an um, he's an oil. Uh, our painter. Um, he's also a visual artist. He came out of the world of television, and um, yeah. we had the uh, the honor of uh, working with him. Yeah, he's a great artist. Mm -hmm. He goes around the city, takes photographs of all the stuff that he likes to paint, and then uh, puts his uh, his concept and style into it. With, uh, the use of light. Yeah, the use he's of light. Uses very dramatic lighting in his paintings, and they're beautiful. Um, we'll post it on the website, lifesatbeach.com, so that you can uh, go to it and uh, get more information on him and his artwork. Yeah. And then, uh, one of the, another artist that was there, and uh, this will serve as a segue. Um, uh, his name is Jason Silva. He just uh, wrote this book called. Uh, Edgar, The Tales of Edgar Trunk, mm -hmm. book number one, and uh, he released it, not this Sunday, but past Sunday, mm -hmm. and that day he sold 75 copies off the bat. Wow. And on Saturday, he brought a couple of books, a couple of books sold, he had a signing, there's this little girl, super excited. She was adorable, she had this little pink uh, top hat, and um, she had a little tutu. And she and she loved the band too. Yeah, she was she dancing was, to the band people. She, yeah, she was dressed as a zombie. She, her and her parents showed up, and we had a lot of really good people come out on on Saturday. And yeah, I, I really want to thank you, thank Eddie, uh, Villa, Everybody. thank um, uh, Dan and Jen for participating in the art yeah. show. Jenny did a crochet skull with like a flower yeah. on there. And Dan did these three amazing oil paintings. And it was one of them was like a heart with a knife on and like a table. And then there was another one that was a zombie. And then the other one, what was the It was one? like a face coming out of the darkness. Yeah, it's pretty spooky stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. And um, uh, uh, well, let me tell you a little bit of background on the book. Uh, yeah. The name of the author is Jason Silva. Um, you could go and look at more of the synopsis and information on the book at edgartrunk.com. But basically, I was, I was talking to Jason earlier, and I was asking him about how he came to write this story about this book. And he said that it was one night, he just, he had like a, had a dream, a nightmare, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it was him hovering over this, this space of a metallic surface. It was a dark, gloomy place. But it ended up being it's the the heart of the earth, or a machine that powered the earth. But the, but it was off, like it was oh. it wasn't on. Everything was pretty much dead and stuff. So then, uh, that reminds me of a movie I saw. What's it called? Uh, the way that this book uh, is approached is that uh, Edgar Trunk, the main character of the story, is introduced into this world the way that the reader is and uh he travels this world and uh what's it called uh <laughs> sorry i'm having fun with the puppet as i'm talking to you about the book that's the whole point <laughs> we made these puppets <laughs> ourselves by the way <laughs> handy yeah <laughs> but, but uh yeah so so edgar like the reader is introduced into this world and edgar is the the hope for this world the hope to bring this world back to life and uh he is the essence of good and evil and this and that but this book is only like a touch of the stories and tales that are gonna come 
from Jason Silva. So stay tuned. Check out the blog spot on Life's a Beach. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great way to introduce a, a book to kids so you can see how brilliant their intuition and creativity can be. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's that, and uh, I'll come back later. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gregory. Whoa. Now, what's the name of your? Whoa, wait, wait. wait. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. One eye, one eye, Willie. Oh wow, from, his tongue from is the Goonies. Out the wrong way too. Look at that. Let me turn around yeah. a little. Okay, yeah. now I can talk. <laughs> has, he been, has he been drinking? Thank you, Greg. <laughs> All right, so who's up next? Thank you. Is Jordana, you ready? I guess. We have uh, Miss Hotbox, Jordana, with uh, Fashion and Beauty. I are we, are we good? Are we good, Ray? Yes? Okay. Oh, we met you. How are you? Hi, y'all. Um, my name is Hotbox, um, spelled H-A-U-T-E dash box. Um, today, I'm, we'll be kicking off our beauty and fashion segment um, with bright colors, bright colors, bright colors. Ba, ba, boo. Ooh. Um, obviously, I'm not wearing any today. <laughs> I haven't been on <laughs> We've got the, the representation already. Oh, okay. very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, um, for our spring uh, and summer 2011 runways yeah. are being invaded with bright colors such as emerald greens, electric blues, deep purples, mm -hmm. bold yellows, poshy pinks, and mm -hmm. orange reds. Um, yeah, kind of like her hair. Real. Very nice hair. Chupitos is way in fashion. What does she have on the side? A flower? Yeah, it's got a little flower. I love it. She's way more fashionable than I am. <laughs> <laughs> we should be taking tips from her. Yes. Um, with uh, these colors, it makes the sea of neutrals look blah blahs. Blah. Blah. We don't like the blah. We don't like neutral colors. Neutral colors. Can suck. I grab her by the hair and beat her up? Who? The blah blah. The blah blah. Blah blah. Blah blah. Yeah, that's very Banana Republic. <laughs> Boo, Banana Republic with your neutral colors. <laughs> okay. um, you can create killer combos. You can use two colors or three, mm -hmm. or you can go tonal, which is, means all one bold color <coughs> of, like the, of each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, please be careful not to overindulge because you don't want to look like Rainbow Bright on a bad day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing the walk of shame as Rainbow Bright is horrible. No, con una cruda y despeinada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Not with this flat hair. We need to, we need to uh, behave, ladies. Behave. Behave, yes. <laughs> our, <laughs> well, not really, because our next item is killer. Um, oh. Our next hot item is um, stiletto nails. Ooh. These are to die for, literally. You will die. I got to work on mine. No nails here. Yeah. Um, these nails are long, sharp, and deadly. Best mm -hmm. feature is they make your hands look really long. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I, I like the way the viejitas look with their pointy nails. It reminds me of my grandmother. I, I know. I like them. They look. <laughs> it's very elegant and it's very girly. I'm not really into the flat cut. No. I've never been into the flat cut. Well, these are really good because they are long and sharp. Mm -hmm. So they look like little triangles on your mm -hmm. tips of your fingers. Um, mm -hmm. Also, the downside is you could possibly be charged with the tech of a deadly weapon. So be careful with those nails. Um, my is, that why, is that why you're single? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. They're not to be giving hand jobs. They're for, sh they're for show, and not for yes. use. Self defense, okay? Self, Self defense. defense. <laughs> cut, cut. What? You didn't buy me flowers for Valentine's Day? <laughs> well, it'll be Lady Wolverine. It'll be an X Men 4. Well, you know, when the full moon comes out, <laughs> you yes. watch out. I like I I'm a different person. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no wonder the crazes are out. Sheesh. Uh, I hang I hang out with wolves and vampires. This is my thing. 
Oh, is that why we were up till four in the morning? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. who, took, who took me to the room? Because I didn't know how I was You fell asleep on the couch. Daddy took you to the room. You so. fell asleep on the couch and then take my glass off. You're, you're sleeping this is, like this. This is Greg. This is last this night is while we were getting ready for today's show. Mm. Cheese man, cheese man. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Cheerios. Nice. Anyways, well, my <laughs> motto is beauty is pain and compliments are the best payoff. So waxing. Hello. Hello. Obviously, you gotta have to maintain. Yes. Um. You gotta maintain. <laughs> maintain. The letter of the day, by the way, Where? is the letter P. Huh? P for Pashi? Uh, Where do you want? No, P is for the next lesson that's coming after fashion. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you have choice of decorating your nails with any polish or nail design. They also have nail wraps, well, which will go around. You can put like leopard skin, zebra skin. Um, that's very um, Jersey Shore. We're gonna be <laughs> Jersey licious. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, also you also have um, you can put designs. You can put like um, your favorite designer. What's or, your favorite designer? Well, for my for nails, I've been seeing them and I really want them. They're Hello Kitties. Oh, they have Hello Kitty faces on them, which I really want. Here. I love Hello Kitty. Yes. Um, also, um, for um, I'm a Harajuku girl forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I also have um, for your images on these nails, you can also look them up on lifesabeach.com. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll see pictures of those coming up soon. Mm -hmm. um, and also for each beauty and fashion segment, um, I'd like to introduce the fashionista of the day. Ooh, it could be anyone. Do tell. It could be anyone. It could be a fashion artist. It could mm -hmm. be someone that inspired you or someone that just shocked you on the street at mm -hmm. the market. Be bold, girl. Yeah, of course. Be bold. We are watching. We are watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, for my kickoff, I like to introduce the fashions of Louis Vuitton, which are my favorite. I can't afford them, but God knows I love them. Mm -hmm. um, a brief review of the Empire. I love, I love the Japanese stuff. Oh, yeah. Their cherry blossom purse oh. awesome i love it i was that. at the exhibit at the nutty. japanese theater it's i love it it's wacky it is wacky mm -hmm. but you know what that's because it has two art directors that are creating these fashions um we mm -hmm. have um mark jacobs and mm -hmm. collaboration love with him. jay um mm -hmm. which are doing these kind of they have the normal conservative right things but then boring. the boring the blah blah blahs. the blah blah anyways <laughs> so they have the blah blahs and then they have the crazy colors mm -hmm. the um wild designs mm -hmm. um a lot is mark jacobs with the collaboration like i said of jay mm -hmm. and so they were named art directors in 1998 Ooh. so i was really happy and um that was, was a good year god i don't remember that year yeah um, i was i think i was Still in college, and I was um, going to broadcasting school, and I was trying to get a job at LA TV. I was at the club probably drinking. Oh, seven yeah. and seven? No. No. Adios is probably no, not even. Adios. God, I don't even remember what I was drinking in 1998. 1998. Oh, you were drinking Long Island, probably. Hold on, let me let me grab the wine real quick. Okay. Actually, can you serve me some? <laughs> can you give me some cookies? Thank you. Let Ginger Ale is right there. <laughs> So, okay. back to the, the designer. Back to our designer, Louis Vuitton. His actual name for the uh, for the label is um, Louis Vuitton Maletier, which um, means trunk or luggage maker. Um, that's basically what he's most famous for, to making uh, luggage. Um, the label was founded in 1854, where the famous flat bottom trunk wow. was introduced. 1854? 1854. 1854. That was, was a long ass time ago. Yes. Um, it's oh my God. Forever. Forever in a day. He, wow. No yes. wonder he's so Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, where's my drink at? So wait a minute, is that his um fam the family name started or what? Well, yeah. Um, Louis Vuitton was the founder. Mm -hmm. He was the founder. Um, and of course, then later it went on to his sons. So he's George. not even alive anymore. No. <gasps> no. Thank you. Ooh, Rest in perfect. peace, Louis. Hello. I love you. And salute. Salute. Mm -hmm. This is David, by the way. 
And he's um, actually, you're you're gonna be talking to us about grilling, right? After this. Yeah. <laughs> sure. so, going back, um, yes, he's not alive anymore. Obviously, he passed away and passed his name on. Yes. Um, in eighteen eight and in nineteen eighty seven, uh, the creation of the LVMH uh, Empire mm -hmm. was formed after a merger with uh, champagne producer Moe Shendon and Hennessy are Ooh. the large, uh, the very good producer of cognac products. Ooh. Yep. And uh, LVMH is the world's largest luxury goods conglomerate right now. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, they are a parent company for over 60 sub companies. Wow. Yep. Uh, they have Marc Jacobs. They yeah. have Givenchy, uh -huh. Fendi. I like doing. Yeah. Donna Karen, Ooh. Belvedere Vodka, Ooh. Dom Perignon. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So and we we get to drink and wear clothes, nice clothes. Yep, you can be faced as hell and <laughs> still be looking good. So how do they stay skinny? Is what I want to know. You drink all day. Do they they puke? It's that called liquid right, diet, right? girl. Liquid oh, diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I us don't Mexicans know. don't do that. No, we don't. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we keep our our food down. <laughs> All right, we well, sure do. Well, thank you very much for all of your um, uh, information. And thank for, you. And well, most of our information stuff. will be on lifesabeach.com, mm -hmm. and you can also look at Louis Vuitton's products on louisvuitton.com. Yes. And thank you very much. Thank you. That was for Donna with the Fashion and Beauty. Okay, so we're going to go now to, uh, can I stand up? No. No? Yes. Yes? Tell me. Okay, now we're outside with uh, David Ortiz, who, uh, you're making some stuff for us. What are, what are you making for us? Well, I don't know, but I, I was walking by here, as Rick Tommy called me out, so um, actually, I uh, saw you had some chicken. Yeah, I have some food. And, uh, so, um, I'm just grilling up the chicken for you. Okay, well, just, what are you I doing? Did, I had, what I actually did is just kind of had a little bit of basic stuff that anybody can do at home. Mm -hmm. Get some chicken. You want to make sure it's clean, you know. Add okay. a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. You want to taste it up a little, you know. And uh, here, why don't you try this? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, uh, I kind of... Just add a little bit of salt and pepper, and, and I, I see it ended up with because, you know, we are the Latino side that we are, just a little bit of red pepper. Okay. For taste. And, okay, can uh, we see the, what you've got going so far? Yeah, 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 here we go. Here, I'll show you. Just a little bit of there. So what are some tips on how to, um, on, on how to get some, a Take really good... Take it to good, the right there. Here, here's a... Come to daddy. Can you see the, the chicken? Closer. Yeah. yeah, it's really juicy, Come as closer. you can see. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Eat it! <laughs> so, I'm not eating it, it's raw! <laughs> okay, so we're going to throw it back on the grill. It's going to be our next right show here. will be at the ER. Yeah. Um. So what, how long do you think, how long does it take usually to grill chicken on a barbecue like this? Well, I've never worked with the grill like this. Um, I, I, I would rather have a better grill. But if anybody's out there that has an old grill that you want to throw away, we're yeah. looking for sponsorship. <laughs> so, so that way I don't have to walk by every single time. But, uh, yeah, on a, on a grill like this, I couldn't do it because I've never worked on a grill like this. This is my first time. Um, okay. It should take probably... Uh -huh. An like hour after the show is done, we'll let you guys know. If on you an guys update. are hungry after the show, we're gonna be serving chicken. And Julie, <laughs> if you're watching, yeah, we had a what was it, a bean and cheese bean burrito? Bean and cheese burrito for Julie. Yeah, and then we also Jesus. have. Um, and it tasted good, real good. And it was really good, and but we also have something else for her. We have vegetables, a potato, uh, don't we? Uh, oh. She's the baked potato. We have well, a baked potato. What? Yeah, yeah, we got a baked potato. It's so somewhere in the refrigerator. We're thinking about all you vegetarians yeah. out there. Yeah, we got a baked potato. Okay. Yeah, Should somewhere. I go get the carne asada? Yeah, throw a carne asada, but watch out. Uh, oh, look, here's, <laughs> here's <laughs> the baked potato. Here's the baked potato. Wait, here, here. She's got it. Can I have the carne asada? Here's your meat. <laughs> Thank uh -oh. you, Ray. Thank you for giving me that rebreak. Okay. 
<laughs> and I was grilling up a banana for Julius, and she's a vegetarian because it will coat and glaze very well. Looks it's, ugly on the outside. Bananas are high in potassium. 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 And you know what? Potassium. Yeah. And you know what the letter of the day is? What, what? P. The letter P. P. Yeah. Woo! Well, I know what you P. can do with the letter P, all right. Well, I <laughs> mean, potassium. there's a reason why oh. I have this uh, beautiful <laughs> painting over here. Uh, it was made by uh, Edward Morton III. The third? And, yes. And um, he's very sad that he couldn't join us today, but he did um, uh, give, give us an idea. And um, that is for the lesson of the day. So can I uh, can you get me? Can you see me? Oh, completely? Okay. So I'm gonna have Chipitos help me with the lesson of the day. What's the lesson of the day today? The lesson of the day today is how to eat pussy. You mean cat? Me too. The well it's uh, yeah, vagina. But you know, the letter of the day is P. So we're just gonna like talk about the kitty, and so what? So you're gonna tell people how to eat pussy? You're gonna help me how to tell people? You're gonna help me tell people how to eat pussy? <laughs> this is not easy. <laughs> how do you start? Okay. So you start with start? dinner on a date. Okay. See, you're not shy, bitch. Why are you even pretending? Okay. This is how you eat pussy, okay? You start with the clitoris, which is right here. It's a very, very nice, friendly thing right here. And you make friends with it. You gotta rub it and massage it and smile at it. Have conversation, pet it, pet it. If, if, if it gets a little dry, you just spit on it. <laughs> you go, and you spit on it, and next thing you know, it's a party! Woo! <laughs> Better take notes. Like, oh, everybody's laughing, and, every, and, the, and, and everybody's having a good time. How and do you then, still spit? S. 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 Spit. E. S. Spit. E. S. P. I. T. Spit. Oh, it's bright. Yeah, kind of like a sprite, but it's a no, no R. Okay, so then you go and you work the little the my friend called the clitoris, and then don't be shy. Explore, explore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so good. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Love it. Love it. Love it. Give it kisses. You can nibble it a little. Rah, 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 rah. And then, after you've like worked around it and like given it its love, sang songs to it, given it flowers, jewelry for Valentine's Day. And candy, <laughs> romance the romance the pussy, romance the pussy, and it will be so beneficial to you. You don't even have to ask. It will give, 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 give. Like a genie? Yes! Like a genie! Rub you make wishes, <laughs> rub the rub the magic pussy, and it will give you wishes. <laughs> You'd be surprised, especially a Mexican one. Oh my god, it would be that thing. So then, a <laughs> Mexican one. What? Yeah, wow, the Mexican that pussy. That one's Mexican. Good. Yeah, Mexican pussies are very rewarding. They love to give rewards. They're very giving. It's part of the whole theme of the world news today, which is compassion. Thank you. Okay, so we start rubbing the the clitoris, and then guess what? It what? It's better. <laughs> it gets better. You, it gets all like juicy and yummy, and then you Speaking get of juicy, the chicken. Where how the chicken? <laughs> get the chicken. So then you work it, and guess what? You go deep down inside the pussy, and there's another reward. It's what called, is it? Jigga jigga. It's called the G spot. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> 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 what did you just do? <laughs> you just did you just touch my G spot? Yeah. I, I, I was did. outside. Woo! <laughs> Once you get in there, it's I mean uh, it's
if you've been working on your Kegel exercises, nice. If you've been working on your Kegel, Kegel exercises. That's for the ladies. For the ladies, you know, just squeeze. I'm doing it right now. I'm squeezing. I'm doing it right now. And guess what? When this all starts getting erupted and volcanic, <laughs> you get these wonderful things called contractions. And if, boys, if you're in there, oh my goodness. Lucky you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> with you. I remember I was really under a lot of stress and there was a lot of work. I was I was working really crazy hours. And um, I know this, uh, right now. Mm -hmm. and like one of the things that you like to do with me was watch cartoons. Remember that? Yeah. And you introduced me to um thank you Craig. You thank you. you introduced me to Ed Ed and Ed <laughs> And uh, which is on the Cartoon Network. Yeah, and, and a new movie. Mm -hmm, they have a new movie coming out, so we'll be sure to put it on the website so people can go see it. When is it coming out? Do you know? It's already out on TV. Oh, it's on TV? <laughs> <laughs> it's been out, bitch! <laughs> Okay. That definitely does have good memory. Yeah, it's a better memory than I do, that's for sure. Okay, so. Oh, careful. So the memory that I wanted to share with everybody was that um, I remember when uh, you had you knew that I liked Ed and Ed and Eddie, and you recorded these shows so that whenever I would come home to visit the family, yeah. you would have them ready so that we can watch them together. You remember that? Yeah. And um, there was this one time when I remember before the punchline, you turned around because you wanted to see me laugh. <laughs> Because <laughs> you already knew what was going to happen. Sorry. Was it because you had already seen that cartoon or what yeah. was going on? Yeah, you like to say that. So you already knew that something funny was going to happen? I had no idea. <laughs> Come on, yeah you did. You memorized cartoons. Do I? Yes. Do I? Yes. Do I? Yes. Do I? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so that's 
that's pretty much my my favorite memory of the day and it reminds me of how um how precious the present is um how important it is to share uh laughter exercises and good memories with the people that you love yeah you do a lot of laughing don't you that's kind of your hobby no yeah Okay. <laughs> you want to share with uh, everybody uh, one of your story ideas? Ooh, we have got a new story, but I work, uh, I'm working on the first one. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the, new, uh, the first, uh, the other one I'm working on is really crazy. It's called My Brother Had a Werewolf for a Girlfriend. I like that. Since I saw, since I saw that movie in Nicktoons, mm -hmm. uh, my, the boy who cried werewolf, mm -hmm. he made me all sad, and I'm using my head, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking about stories. I was in the, I was in the zone, mm -hmm. the sad zone, Aww. the blue zone. I was in that zone this past week too. Welcome to the zone, zone. Welcome to the sad, the tear zone. <laughs> Welcome to the Bazaar Zone. Yeah, well, this is kind of the Bazaar Zone, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we know it. So, um, that's that's your your most recent. What what you guys don't know is that Adrian is an author, and he writes a lot of short stories. But, long, um, but I'm working, but I got a lot of imagination, so I'm making a long story right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adrian is also still going to school. He's going to John Miller School in, um, what is it, in, Stu in uh, Encino? Or in Woodland Hills, where is it? Reseda. It's in Reseda. I was close. Reseda, you know where what, what was shot in Reseda? The Karate Kid. And uh, oh. a kid in the teen actors. Movie. Mm -hmm. And Reseda is very close to Encino, which is where they shot Encino Man. Never heard of it. That's another movie. Brandon Fraser. You know Brandon Fraser? Who? From The Mummy. Be the Fraser. The, the lead character in, Brenda in, in The Mummy. Oh, you mean the, the guy from My Disease? The, the guy from Inkheart. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo, bango. You know got it. a good memory, I'm telling you. So you're you're part of something that's called um, Actors for Autism, right? Uh, yeah. And how, you like that? You go every Saturday? Sometimes and, I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, but you guys shoot commercials, you guys practice lines, you guys use camera equipment. Uh, sometimes we go for them. What do you guys do then? Sing, sing, after that. And uh, making commercial and, and that. Okay. I don't sing. You don't sing? But you work the camera. No. I've seen you work the camera. Oh, not all the time. No, ah, whatever. I've seen you. I was a witness. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also do something. Um, oh, we have something coming up uh, in April. There's a walk for autism, and it's uh, being put together by Autism Speaks. Sorry, it's the Greece. And um, uh, it's going to be taking place in, a, in Pasadena. So I'll be sure to, um, here, you want the puppet? You can no, use the puppet. No, no. Um, in Pasadena, I will be posting more information about uh, our group, and it, it's called um, Kid, uh, Kid Kong Adrian. And um, we'll be creating awareness for autism. Okay? I am not sure what you say. We're talking about an event that's happening in April. So uh, It's like a fair. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right. Now, um, Alfonso. Someone from my lines. Thank you for everything. Ciao. Yay! Thank you. Jeez, it smells so yummy over here. Now we have Mr. Socialite with the word on the street about music and what art. Woo! Today, with Fonzie and Photo Fonzie. That is me, and I'm going to give you a rundown on two awesome singer songwriters okay. that are putting out new stuff and that you should look out for. Definitely. 
Definitely. So first of all, I want to start off with uh, Carla Morrison, who yeah. is, she's awesome, she's Love awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A cosmic she's, artist. Exactly. She's a Mexican pop rock singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Born in Tecate and ended up studying music in Phoenix, Arizona, where she, uh, 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 I just lost it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she played in a number of bands before heading back to the University of Arizona. And there she continued her studies. In 2009, she dropped an EP uh, entitled Aprendiendo a Aprender. And the following year, she released a full album, full length album entitled Mientras Tu Duermes. And from that, recently, she independently produced a second video from the album for the single Yo Si Joaquin. Mm -hmm. And it has recently been featured on the AOL Musica front page, so cool. that's a that's a good thing. Got a we'll, we'll put a link on the blog so there that you guys be can a go link. and yes. catch the performance. And this is all uh, thanks to Mucho Wednesdays. So. Yeah. Hey, Ricky. Yay, Ricky! We got your your newsletter, and um, thank you so much for keeping us informed. And thank you so much for bringing amazing artists to La Cita in downtown LA on Wednesday here, here. night. Yeah, Mucho. Because you know, I really love Latin pop. I grew up a Latin Valley girl. You right. grew up a West Side With boy. The front hair. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we, we grew up listening to both English and Spanish yeah. and different genres. And so, you know, whenever I have the opportunity to like talk with somebody about music, I know whenever I talk to Alfonso, I'm going to listen to something that I've never heard before and I'm going to love it. From Daniela Romo to Fleetwood Mac, of course. Well, I know. <laughs> we got to keep it real. Well, anyways, um, a big accomplishment on her. She's just been nominated for three Imagine Awards. Mm. She has a uh, Mejor Disco Folk, Mejor Disco Solista, mm -hmm. and Mejor Productor Nueva. Ooh, Productora. Yeah. She's producing now, so girl power, girl, girl power, girl yeah, yeah, yeah. power. Chupitos is all about the girl power. Chupitos is all about the girl power. I need some of that girl power. Chupitos. <laughs> so that leads me to the second lady of my article, and okay. it is the hot slut of the day, Miss Bev Ditto, Ooh. who will be releasing a four-song EP of groovy dance songs mm -hmm. uh, next month on March eighth. Mm -hmm. Um. A majority of the tracks were written and produced by Simeon Mobile Disco, which is really big in the UK and the dance circuit. Mm. And it's going to be something to look out for. Okay. Because, you know, I'm used to the we whole... Like to move our butt. Right. We love to move our butt. I love the hard guitars, but there's something about a nice baggy synth that gets yeah. us going. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mm. So it should be hot. It's going to be... Help me up with some of that synth, baby. Exactly. <laughs> Pump me up. <laughs> so it's going to be a four-song EP. It's going to be awesome. No need to fret, though. The uh, gossip is in the uh, in the studio working on a new album right now. So it's going to be hot, and it'll just be a little side project. Something to look for. A little something. A little something a la Grace Jones. Oh. Aaliyah. That's what I heard is the vibe. And Shut um, up. Like we're going to post the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's kind gonna... of RuPaul. Kind of Tina Turner. Algo. Little Amber Rose with the uh, little Gaga esque. Mm, theater. Yeah, no, she has great vocals, so it's going to be awesome. Okay. And I will post a link on the website, Life's the Beach. Sharing means caring. And it will be a little sampler so you can get a little taste. Perfect. Like I said, March 8th, it's going to be hot. Okay. And lastly, I just want to give a quick shout out to our friend Pilab. Yeah. <clears throat> and I want to invite everybody out. She's having a show on March 5th. At the Grand Annex in San Pedro. A lot of people are going to be in that show. It's going to be awesome. I have a list of who's going to be there. And they've been rehearsing. If you follow them on Facebook, you'll know that they're posting pictures of their rehearsals. March 5th. March. It's going to be awesome. Pilar will be showcasing original songs, Chilean classics, plus other Latin American pop songs. She with... sings Yudi. Yeah, she does. I love that one. That's one of my favorites. That was like te amo, te amo. That was like my mom's. That was my mom's ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome, and her guests are gonna include Las Cafeteras, Gustavo Galindo, Fernanda, Olivari. I love you, Fernanda. 
uh, Gloria Estrada, and of course, Dulce Anthony Reyes, and uh -huh. las baterías. So Anthony, it should be interesting. Tony, and Tony Too Sweet. Ooh. Formerly of Los Abandoned. Right, 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 right. Oh, who has just recently been a dad. Hello. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dulce. Yeah. Ah. We've got a baby around the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a condom breaking. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> well, anyways, that's it for now. Uh, we will be at the show, both of us, correct? Yes, we will be at the show. So if you... um Just look for the two social butterflies. Say hi. Yeah. Know, we're we'll not shy. There. Don't be shy. You know, leave the fruits behind. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And bring your dancing shoes. Bring your dancing shoes. All right. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Thank you, Alfonso. All right. I kind of, um, how much time do we have? Are we almost done? Yeah. What? Now? We got a minute. We yeah. got a minute. Can we close it with a dance number? You can go as long as you want. Okay. Let's, um, can you hit play on the music box? Where's the control? There it is. There's no signal. You just uh -oh. Play yeah. with the painting. Oh, I wanted to end with um, Desperate Housewives of Pacoima <laughs> with uh, Debbie Deb. Um, I had it set up. No? Look out, you okay. Here she comes. <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're, we can close with the number of the day, which is um, 420, which, I, which, which is actually what we're lacking. <laughs> Oh, no, I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, yeah, yeah. can you um, light, light me up, baby? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, for all of the information that we uh, mentioned, be sure to go to the website. Um, some of the shows that are coming up are um, February, February 28th um, at El Sarape with Cuevo and Gustavo Galindo. March 3rd, Miguel Arenchen, um Relive Your Spanish Rock Moments. Yeah, give me. Oh, and. Um, with uh, Gustavo Cuevo, Leo Machado, and he mentioned uh, Pilar yeah. Diaz. Um, for, for tickets, go to grandvision.org. Uh, she, she'll be performing with Las Cafeteras, Fernanda Olivari, uh, Gloria Estrada, Tony Too Sweet. And um, I have um, Cooper Talk. He's our comedian, our family comedian. He's a transplant from Philly via Burbank. Uh, you can catch him at Flappers. For more information, go to uh, coopertalk.blogradio.com uh, or dot .org. Oh, shit. I don't know. It's one of the two. Steve Cooper. Uh, look him up on Facebook. Um, the books were uh, The Tale of Edgar Trunk by Ed Jason Silva. And right now we have... Um, uh, events calendar and giveaways with uh, none other than the Lousy Bunch. Uh, Hi. From uh, he's well, I'll let him. I'll let him. Good day, everybody. So we got giveaways coming up from March fifth, Julia de Venegas, Susie Bastida, Nokia Theater, LA Live. That's going to be Ticket Raffle. March 14th, Wine is at the Staples Center. That's Ticket Raffle. We'll go to lousybunch.com on Facebook. That smells good. Enter yeah. the raffle. We'll give tickets away. Goodbye. Awesome. We love free giveaways. Free giveaways are always nice. Giveaways are important. Um, the first person to send us an email um, with um, a suggestion. Uh, we'll get tickets to one of the events mentioned. Okay? Um, I think that's it for now. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys like the show and please send us feedback. Um, come on over, come on over, everybody. Adrian, Greg, Jordana. Everybody, Adam. send us a dollar hey in the guys. mail. Three, two, I'm going to set up my one. PayPal so you can pay me. Send us a dollar in an envelope, please. <laughs> You're going to jail, Claudia. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, um, For bootlegging moonshine, yeah. I'm going straight to hell. <laughs> 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 I'm going with you. Three, two, yeah. one.